What's your message to the kids? What's your message to the kids watching? Stay in school and be faithful to the country. That's right. There you go, man. Patriotic, baby. That's right. I pledge allegiance to the flag. Yeah. That's right. God bless you. Benny Johnson here in Washington, D.C. in a parking lot where hundreds, maybe thousands, John, thousands of patriots have gathered on Memorial Day weekend for the Rolling to Remember bike ride. This year, this event was kicked out. That's right, kicked out of the Pentagon parking lot where it typically gathers. No Rolling to Remember from our Pentagon establishment and Joe Biden's administration. Why? Well, they said it wasn't safe. They said COVID would affect all of these fine young men and women. So we're gonna ask them today on Benny on the Block, what do they think about getting kicked out of their own Pentagon? They're just here to honor American service members who have given everything for our country. I can't wait to hear what they have to say. Let's go find out. It's Benny on the block. I'm hanging out with Benny on the block. You guys are on the sidewalk. I'm on the block with Benny on the block. When your own Pentagon says, no, you can't have your ride to remember MIA veterans, it seems like a very disrespectful thing to say. You guys are out here peacefully just trying to remember those who gave the ultimate sacrifice for your country. It seems like an insane thing of all places the Pentagon to tell you you can't gather here. I couldn't say it any better. <laughs> what I find also ironic, anyone else with an agenda can get a permit and they can actually go and protest and leave a mess and tear it up and burn it down, yeah. damage, murder, destruction. Yeah. They have no problems. It's actually not only not stopped, it's rewarded. So, Isn't that funny? I'd be remiss if I didn't ask. It seems like you guys weren't taken care of by the Pentagon this year. What, what, what happened? Like, what, was it, is this like disrespectful? Did they not add their, their house in order? What's going on? It just seems like a pretty amazing, I've been talking with people all day. Everyone seems pretty nice. You guys can come to my parking lot anytime you want. <laughs> Your parking lot's not big enough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have a garage, see? Yeah. <laughs> Your driveway. We're going to put all these bikes in your driveway. Why wouldn't they let you gather? That seems I insane. I, it was all about COVID. They're still on that COVID edge right now. Tell the kids, what does this stand for? What's going on here? It's red, white, and blue. That's because I bleed red, white, and blue. It stands for the United States of America while we're out here on the block. All events to have at the Pentagon, this would be the most no-brainer. Yeah, it's very puzzling, disappointing, uh, say discouraging, but uh, bottom line is they wouldn't talk to us. So I'm actually the organizer of this, and for months and months now, we've, we're asking the Pentagon to have a meeting with us. There were 10 different agencies we needed to work with here in D.C. and others, tons of jurisdictions, and 9 of 10 worked with us, gave us a thumbs up on being able to get it done. The one that didn't was the Pentagon. Uh, they were also the only ones that wouldn't have a conversation with us. I was looking through the news this morning, and it looks like AMVETS had a real tough time with the Pentagon this year. The Pentagon kicked you guys out of their parking lot, which seems insane to me. Is it, what, what happened? Tell me the story. I'm not sure of the nuts and bolts of it. I know that uh, uh, we applied for a permit at uh, real close proximity to the event. Uh, the permit was pulled. Uh, why? Was it COVID? Was it political? I don't know. We're a non-political group. Uh, as military, we respect the position without respecting the man sometimes. That happens. As a group, uh, we, uh, we adapt and overcome. Here we are at RFK. Kamala Harris and Joe Biden are getting blown up right now for their Memorial Day messages, right? Oh, Stay cool. Have a great long weekend. Oh, that's, that's a major insult. That's just... <laughs> Can I say this? I, I know it's supposed to keep the politics out of it, but... Our former uh, presidency, President Trump, he was all for the veterans. He was, he supported this, the republic. You know, and I don't, I'm not trying to say the Republicans, Democrats either way. I'm in the middle myself. But our this, our government right now is, our country is hurting, and it's, and our new, and it don't look good. He's soon going to be on the road. Riding, Riding, rolling to remember. Can right. you tell me about this event and what we're all here today this to do? This event is, is, is put on every year to honor those who have not returned. Missing in action, uh, MIAs. So we come here every year and it's a protest to our government. It's a very, very peaceful protest. It's not quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we riding today? Uh, for the memory of the brothers from the wars. That's right. 
Yeah, and, and the love of America. Right. America number one, man. Yeah. Yes, sir, baby. We have thousands from all over the United States here on motorcycles. Patriot riding motorcycles because they love this country. They love our troops. They love our veterans and they demand that our government does better in recovering and uh, identifying our missing in action. We still have more than 82,000 who are missing in action all over the world since uh, World War II. And our government needs to increase the efforts to bring them home before it's too late and to provide the families closure that they deserve and need. And it's our job to, to honor their legacy and, and their sacrifice by continuing to keep this ride going. Um, this is for remembering the 82,000 Americans that we haven't brought home yet and holding the government responsible for that. We're not third world. We're the United States of America, and we're strong, and we're proud, and we're patriotic. One million Americans have lost their lives in service to their country. Uh, did you, sir, serve your country? or Yeah. Army. So what is this? This must be very personal to you, moments like this. He's a Marine. Yeah. Not yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Veterans, I've lost. So, I've lost. Service. I've lost yeah. friends. So absolutely, this is personal for me. Wait, why are you here today? Uh, I'm here to do my speech and thank all the veterans for their service. Yeah. What is it that inspired you to do this? Uh, my older brother joined the military when I was six and a half, so I started sending uh, care packages to his company, and now we've started sending um, twenty-five thousand every year. Twenty-five thousand care packages every year. To soldiers? You must be the most popular girl around. I mean. <laughs> this is amazing. Plus you have this big beautiful medal. Tell me about this. Uh, so this is my Presidential Volunteer Service Award. Um, I got my first at age seven, I believe. And I just earned my lifetime award for uh, 4,000 hours. Tell all the young people who are watching right now how they can be more like you. Uh, just go on and start thinking veterans. Really, it's, it's that simple. Just go out and start thanking veterans, uh, get some addresses, start sending some care packages, um, because they really enjoy that kind of stuff. Can you tell me about what we're all out here to ride to remember today? So, what most people forget, this is a demonstration, a protest. And what we're doing is to ensure that the veteran community within our nation, those issues are still staying in the forefront. Because there's so many people running around wanting to have an issue to push their agenda. This country, the freedom that we have was paid for by the sacrifice of the military and our veterans. And that keeps getting pushed down the road. It wants to go to other countries, it wants to go to illegals. And, and we don't have any heartburn of trying to help other people, but not at our expense. What do you say to young people right now? Because there seems to be a little bit of a crisis in patriotism and in what these memorials stand for. And you see this kind of happening on college campuses, people trying to tear down statues, stuff like that. What's your message to young people out there who are watching this about serving their country? They need to educate themselves. It's not about what the, it's about what the statue stands for. It's history. You have to research and learn your history and don't just react over what you think it is. That's, that's the, the, the biggest message I have. Research, learn. What's your message about service to your country? Don't listen to everything on the internet. Find out for yourself. And you have this country. Serving it is not only a privilege, it's an honor. Final question, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, getting a lot of heat right now for their Memorial Day messages. Stay cool, have a great long weekend. What do you say to them? I would say that they are so far disconnected from the American people that it's a travesty. Freedom is very expensive. If you want to see the price tag, go to a VA hospital, go over here to Arlington, go to the cemeteries in Normandy, the Philippines, all over the world. But we always get pushed to the last. It's a shame. It is a shame. The other issue is the veteran suicide rates and all of those factors that are going on now. They need to be addressed. So we're making sure that that is staying in the forefront of the news. What do you want the kids to take away from this ride? Like, what is the message? What's the overall message? What do you want people to take away from when they see this, especially Memorial Day weekend? A lot of people out there like, hey, it's not about hot dogs, right? It's not about cheap beer. No. No, it's not, although those are all wonderful things. And uh, you know what? It is, too, about cheap hot dogs. It is, too, about cheap beer. It is, because if we didn't do what we did, you wouldn't be able to have those things. Because of the sacrifice that every, every person out here put in, you all can do whatever you want to do. You can be Benny on the block. And it's, you're welcome. Look at this amazing event, all these patriots rolling to remember for a good cause. You heard it here on this episode. 
They want to remember the veterans who have sacrificed their lives. One million Americans in uniform sacrificed their lives so that we can live free. Pentagon, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, all y'all got a message today. Let these men remember. Let these women remember. Let us honor our sacred dead in this country. Stop making the military political. Let's unite and celebrate. Maybe the one thing we can celebrate are men and women in uniform. I celebrate them, and we'll keep doing this next week on Benny on the Block. Hey, it's Benny Johnson here, Turning Point USA's Chief Creative Officer. If you like this video you just watched, be sure to subscribe to the official Turning Point USA channel and never miss an episode. See you guys next week.